I'm going to show you a super simple way to make a visual timer. You would use a visual timer if you are teaching a class or doing some training and you give the people in the audience an assignment that they need to complete in a certain amount of time. Having a visual timer allows the audience to know how much time has elapsed and how much time they have left. To do this, we are going to insert a shape and it's going to be a circle. And I'm going to position it in the center of the slide. The shape can be filled with anything you like. It can be an image, it can be a gradient. For the purpose of this demonstration, it's just going to be straight up blue. I am going to control shift this circle to make a duplicate and my original circle is going to have no outline and I'm just going to leave it plain blue. My duplicated circle is going to have no fill and a little bit thicker outline. So let's call it three points. The way we make the timer is that we select the circle and click on the animations tab and I've got my animation pane open and we are going to select the wheel. What that does is it reveals the color of the wheel and in this case it takes two seconds. For the demonstration we're going to make it a 10 second duration so that's what this is what this looks like so it's going to take 10 minutes to fill in completely. Now you put the other outline over the timing wheel and watch what it looks like when you play. Pretty good right? So when you click on the wheel as the presenter, it starts the timer. Sometimes I like to put how much time is on the board so that people know what the timer means. So 10, so 10 second timer label there. There. See how that looks. So people can visually see if it's halfway filled, they have five seconds left. And there we go. You can also add a sound effect to happen after the time is up. The way you do that is you insert audio. I've got a little chimey bell in there. And when, they, when the audio is inserted, this uh, audio options tab comes up. You want to hide it during the show. And in the animation pane, you are going to click on the animations tab and it's going to happen after previous like that. So now when I play it, the timer is going. We've got two and a half seconds in, about five seconds in, and going down to 10 seconds. When 10 seconds, the timer goes off and tells everybody they have to stop working. Something that you need to know, and I'm going to separate this out so you know we're, we're working with the animation circle, is that the highest duration you can put on here is, I put 60 seconds, it goes to 59. If I wanted a two minute timer, put in 120 seconds, it still reverts to 59. However, you can select the timing here and you can change it to anything up to 10 minutes, but it has to be in seconds. So for example, a two minute timer would be 120 seconds. And now when you see it going, it's going a lot more slowly. Even though up here in the uh, duration it shows audio, it is in fact going to take two seconds to fill out. I mean two minutes to fill out. So then you change that to two, two minute timer so that people know that this is going to be two minutes to fill in the whole circle. That's it. Very quick, very easy to create this timer and it's going to help your audience a lot to keep track of the time they have to do the task that you've allotted for them.